Hi everyone and welcome back to V12Design. The research for clean energy is one of the most exciting, worthy and noble quests I can think of. We have solar panels, we have devices that harvest the power of waves, we have geothermal power stations and, and of course we have the big uh, wind turbines with their big blades that get power from the, the wind and turn a transmission that turns a generator that creates electricity. I won't spend any second debating and discussing the controversial drawbacks that this type of technology, clean technology has, okay? Because I want to focus and share with you with a brand new technology that is on the horizon that will probably help us harvesting the power of wind and turning it into electricity, but with a completely different approach. First of all, there's no moving parts. This device, at least in its current early stages, looks like a big tennis racket with a frame and some strings across it. Okay? These strings have a pretty powerful potential difference applied to them, at least 40,000 volts. And this creates an ionizing effect on the air surrounding these wires, okay? This ionizing effect creates, and I'm gonna keep it very simple and I will ask forgiveness for the more scientific of you, okay? But this effect creates a electricity flow within the wires. And this is the energy that we collect from these devices. There's a slightly older technology that utilizes uh, electrically charged water droplets to generate this electric flow. So a static device with no moving parts that literally apparently collects from the flow of air this small contribution, the contributions of electricity that are multiplied by each one of its circuits to create an electric flow. It's a very exciting perspective, but what excites me the most, on top of the device in itself, which is really, really cool, don't get me wrong, is when I see someone looking at a problem and finding a solution, not in the evolution of the device that has a problem, but on a completely different level, a completely 90 degrees angle approach to the problem. So, what excites me is that if I asked you to solve the problems of a wind turbine, you would probably look into evolving the profile of its blades. You would try and reduce and increase the efficiency of its transmission to reduce losses or vibration. But it takes a certain mindset to think, okay, Let's try and take the blades out of the equations. Let's try and remove moving parts from our device. This to me is the most exciting takeaway of today's SPAR. Yes, there is a really cool technology that may be able to harvest energy from the wind in a way that may solve all the drawbacks that current wind turbine design have. But secondly, it's an invitation and Sparks, V12 Design Sparks are here for that, for you always to have the freshest, sharpest, uh, most curious approach to every problem you have in front of you. Whether you're a young designer that is looking, who is looking for a breakthrough, or whether you're an experienced manager who's trying to solve an old problem within your company. Don't worry about what's been done, how can I tweak this, turn 90 degrees, you may find an incredibly surprising solution to your problem. Until then, as usual, all your comments here are always welcome. Subscribe to our channel and I will see you at the next Spark. Ciao!